Hi friends, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to create this very beautiful and very attractive paper quilling wall clock with the intricate ornamental quilling pattern. So I will show you each and every step in detail procedure. So without any delay, let's get started. For this we need some 3 mm multicolor strips, clock dial, this is a wooden dial, tweezer, quilling mold, quilling tool, liquid glue, mount board or cardboard, black and yellow colored thick sheets. First I am taking piece of mount board and black color piece, both measures 32 by 32 centimeters. So I will connect my black sheet on top of the mount board. I am using mount board as a base to give a sturdiness to the clock. Now I am taking yellow color sheet which measures 30 by 30 centimeters and I will connect this on top of black base. Now I am adding this clock dial which is having 15 cm diameter and this is a wooden clock and having 2 mm thickness. So I will connect this exactly in the center. Allow it to dry for some time. Now I will start with my first shape. For this, I am taking one six strip of maroon and making one tight coil. For whole project, I am using three mm strips, and my one strip length is forty five centimeters. So in the same way, I have created lots of tight coils. Now start adding these coils around the dial one by one. So this is done. Now for the next row I am taking 2 strips of green and 2 strips of yellow and all are having 1 fourth strip length. I have folded all together in half. Use a tweezer and just twist it. And you will get a scroll. Secure all the ends and this is done. In the same way I have created lots of scrolls. Now start adding these scrolls like this. Thank you. 
so this is done now I will show you these tear drops for this I am taking half strip of pink one fourth strip of white and half strip of green and making one tight teardrop dome shape Now I will fill the center part of scroll using these teardrops. So this is done. Isn't it looking beautiful? Now for the next shape. I am taking one fourth strip of dark purple and half strip of orange and making one tight coil. Like this. Now I will just connect these tight coils between the center part of the scroll. like this now i am filling the left and right side of these coils using white color tight coil for this i have used 1/6 strip now here on the top, I am adding one fourth strip dark purple tight coil. Now I am taking some pink color tight coils which are made using 1 6 strip. So this is also done. Now here in the center I am adding one eighth yellow strip tight coil. So this is also done. Now for the next row I am taking half strip of orange and one strip of maroon and making one tight leaf dome shape. So I am adding these leaves one by one all around the circle. like this now between these leaf shapes I am adding one eighth strip light green tight coil And 
now I am taking white color tight coils which are made using 1 6 strip. like this isn't it looking beautiful now I will start with the corners so I have already prepared this corner and I will show you how to create this I am starting with the center part for this I am taking one strip of pink half strip of white and one strip of light green and making one tight teardrop dome like this now around this I will add these yellow tight coils which are made using 1 8 strip like this now around this I am adding some tight coils which are made using one fourth strip of orange and one fourth strip of dark purple Now I am starting with the scroll. So this smaller scroll is made using one fourth strip of yellow green. The medium one is made using one third strip of white pink and the larger one made using half strip of yellow and green. I have connected all three scrolls together. So I am connecting the scroll on left and right sides. Now in the center I am taking half strip of maroon and half strip of light green and making one tight coil. Now filling the small gap using one fourth strip of light green tight coil. Also adding same light green tight coil here. Now I am taking one strip of pink and half strip of dark purple and making one tight teardrop dome. connecting here before that I am making some tight coils for this I am taking 
वन फोर्थ स्ट्रिप ऑफ व्हाइट हाफ स्ट्रिप ऑफ मरून एंड हाफ स्ट्रिप ऑफ लाइट ग्रीन एंड मेकिंग वन टाइट कॉइल सो आई एम कनेक्टिंग दीज टाइट कॉइल्स एंड टीयर ड्रॉप्स I have created this scroll using one fourth strip of white and maroon. Now I have created these two scrolls. The smaller scroll is made using one fourth strip of yellow and green, and the medium one is made using one third strip of white and pink. Now adding one one fourth strip yellow tight coil, and then this big tight coil on the top. Like this. In the same way, I have created two more corners. So in total, we will be needed four corners. Now I'm starting with this connector. So for the first shape, I'm taking. half strip of pink half strip of white and half strip of light green and making one tight coil dome then around this i am adding one eighth strip yellow tight coil and making semicircle then adding one fourth strip of orange and one fourth strip of dark purple tight coil then adding half strip of pink and one fourth strip of purple tear drop in the center then taking one eighth strip yellow tight coil then i am adding one fourth strip of white one fourth strip of maroon and one fourth strip of light green tight coil on left and right sides and then i have created the scroll using the same technique so this is done in the same way i have created four total connectors now i am starting with adding these connectors and corners
like this. Now I have created some type coil using half strip of maroon and half strip of light green and adding these type coils on all four sides between connectors and corners to fill this empty gap. Like this, isn't it looking beautiful? So the quilt wall clock is ready. You can just add the handles and machine in the center and frame it. So my project is done for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.